Hello and welcome to today's Lightroom Quick Tip. Today we're looking at Lightroom Classic version 11.5 and color labels. And what color labels are for. So without any further ado, let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. And here we are in Lightroom Classic. I'm in a collection and we should be working in collections and not folders, but that's another video uh, on my Lightroom playlist. And what are color labels? Well, they're a tag, just like a pick flag, a star rating, a color label is another type of tag. It's not supported by Lightroom as of this date. It's only in Lightroom Classic, where picked flags or rejected flags and ratings, stars, are supported by Lightroom, so both ecosystems. So let's click on attributes and we have some color labels on the right hand side in the filter bar. So we have red, we have yellow, we have green, we have blue, we have purple, we have white and we have gray. Keyboard shortcuts, that is six, seven, eight and nine. So red, yellow, green and blue are, are keyboard shortcutted. Purple, gray, purple, white and gray are not. And you can actually label, you can put a tag, a name against each of those, and I'll show you how to do that. That's under metadata, color label sets, and you go edit, and you can uh, name as a preset um, these color labels if you wish. So I have my color labels I use as a part of a workflow, but you can use them for lots of different reasons. So five, sorry, six, which is red, is to be edited in my case, and that's what I've called the label. Seven, which is yellow, is part edited. I've either visually edited it, or I've done something to the IPTC or the metadata. Then eight, which is green, means it's completely finished. I have finished with it at that moment in time. It's either with the client or with the agent. Nine, which is blue, because Lightroom and Lightroom Classic can only sync one catalog, I have all my half million images in my commercial catalog. I include all my family images, so I can share my images across my family, all in one place. And that's a great thing about a catalog program. I can search my whole archive of images, which I've currently say got half a million images in Lightroom Classic. I've still got more to import. I do a f an hour each day importing, culling and rejecting. And I do that six days a week to bring all my photographs from all my past catalogs and all my slides together. So that's why I have my family images in there. Part of my life is I do a lot of academic stuff. So I have a category for academic and that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut and that's purple. But what we can also do is we can color label folders and collections. And I'll come on to that in a second. And this is where we can name the color label. And I'll talk about my workflow in a second. So why would we want to color label something? Well, it could be workflow, which is what I use it for. Or it could be you want to group a set of images together. So that could be narrative, that could be geographic location, that could be client, anything that you want to do. Remember, Lightroom has the tools for all photographers. We may not all use them, and we may not at this moment in time have a reason to use them, but they're there if we need to use them. And a classic example is when they bought this functionality out, and I think it was in version 10, I couldn't think of a reason why I would color label a collection or a folder. Now I have. It took me a few months to work out why I would, but now I've got a great workflow in folders and collections. Why? And we'll come on to that in a second. So let's talk about my workflow, and hopefully that may help you. I use the traffic like system, because we can all understand that, of getting the image to the marketplace. It's ready to go with a stock agent, or it's ready to go with a client, or it's ready to be published on social media, etc. and so on. So red means stop. I'm not going past that point to my client, okay? So it's telling me I need to do something to that image. Yellow, or closest color we got in Lightroom is to amber 
um, for it means I've done something to the image I've either part edited it or I've added metadata and then green means it's fully finished it's with the client or it's with the stock agent and that's at that moment of time because you can revisit the image and go back to it and so I'm going to edit that slightly different now so as a part of my workflow I'd normally pick them and they will be generically um, imported with keywords and description that's from on another video on my playlist about batch importing so these would most of these will be picked but I'm going to color label them so this image here I'm going to put keyboard shortcut 6 to be edited this image here is part edited so I'm going to go 7 this image here is 7 this image here is 8 and I could go up to auto advance and it would jump on each image I could uh, apply down in the bottom if you've got extended view on and click on the little color icon at the bottom and go part edited uh, 6 and then 7, 7 so I'm just categorizing these images and as we can see in a smart collection here I've got two reds six yellows one green and let's say I've got an hour free between jobs or something or I finished the job early and I wanted to go and edit some images and I could click on the yellow smart collection which means part edited and I can rename that yellow to part edited and now I could sit there double click on that take it into the develop module and part edit the image and I, I can just it's a one click process really really simple but where it's really, really powerful. As you're probably aware, smart collections are live. Okay. Now, if we go into this smart collection that I've created, we've got a color label is red. It's a picked keywords contains blue tits. So if I've got any blue tit images, that are picked and the reason why I showed you there now is no images in there to prove that it's live I've now got red color label so and these are blue tits but they're not picked so if I go pick and pick so these images I've picked them in my original cull after importing them in import they applied the keywords they did all that automatically and now they're red color labeled so I've got this smart collection already set up for does it meet that criteria and I now have got some images to edit and in my main catalog I've got lots of these smart collections that when I import these images and they make these or meet these rules my workflow is already working there it's already oh I went to such and such. I went to this place or I did this or I did that and there's the images that I've picked. There's the images that I'm going to edit. There's the images that I've part edited. Because my workflow is I don't do all my edits at once. I come back with fresh eyes looking at that image. Do I like that image? And I might edit that image over seven or ten days. Okay? So that's how we can use color labels but we could also use color labels as I say I use it as a workflow but you could use it to group images together so you could use red to put all your birding images together you could use yellow to put all your landscape images together and again you could have with keywords smart collections and bring all those in so rather than hunting for images rather than typing uh, into a search field it's one click on a smart collection there's the information now what how would you use them in folders it's a color visible label that you've done something to that folder and in my case it's about culling so as we can see here I've got in 2011 I've got 13 images in that folder because this is my training catalog and I've got a green color label you see that and how to apply the color label you go right click add color label and here we go these are to be uh, to be culled part culled and culled that means I've gone through culling is picking and flagging in my case I've gone through and this is culled so I'm now going to apply a green color label to that folder okay and you can as you can see I've got different folders underneath and I can color these labels these differently as well 
So that's how I, I visually I know I've gone through all those folders in 2011 and all those images have been culled. That's how I use them uh, in folders. You could do the same in collections. I've, I'm working on this collection. You know, again, I click on the collection, right click, and we come down to color label. And these names, I haven't named this, but these names, they could be uh, to be culled or whatever your workflow is, you could name them in there. And that's how we can use color labels. It's a visual indication of a status or a narrative or a description or whatever you want to use them for. And they're there to do that. Please remember, color labels are not supported by Lightroom. That's on your web browser, on your Lightroom as a desktop application, on your iPad, on your smartphone and so on. So bear that in mind, it's only in classic at this moment of this video. So there's two other color labels and that are that is the white color label and the gray color label. White is custom, you can customize what the color label does, and gray is no color label. So if I filter in this collection, I'm looking in this collection, no label. But if I come down gray, down to my smart collection, gray, none, 653 images in here. There are 653 images in this collection that do not have color labels. If I go to seven, I've... I've, I number a lot of my collections because I want them in that particular order. Just to let you know, Lightroom is alphanumerical sorts. So it always puts one first, two, three, four. And I want to put particular folders or collections, mainly collections, in a particular order. So I will number them so that Lightroom sorts them into that uh, order. So I've got seven, which is uh, white custom and these have got white these are custom labels okay so i want blue it's the fifth one in my uh well, it's actually the fourth one um but i want blue to be in that order so i can rename that because it's got five so let's go rename four there we go so it's now still it's in the same place but it's four okay so you can number them and you can put them in a particular order same with collection sets and with collections you can put them in those orders so i'm hoping today has helped you if it has, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, got a question, leave a comment, and to the side of me is my playlist for my Lightroom Classic Quick Tips like this, where we look at one action and I explain what it does, rather than going through a whole module. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a great day. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. All the best. Bye for now.